right, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, got the new rig, all right? A lot of things been going on uh, this past year. I haven't been recording or filming as much. It's been a very rough year. I'm trying to change that. We're gonna start with this boat right here, okay? Yes, I did upgrade again. It's not that big of an upgrade. I just went from a 12 foot aluminum John boat to a 14 foot. And we're gonna go over the pros, the cons, uh, special features. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is the trolling motor. We're gonna start from the front of the boat, work our way to the back, all right? This is the newest uh, equipment on this boat, all right? This cost me approximately $700 or so off of Amazon. It is the Pass Swing Cayman uh, iPilot trolling motor. So I guess you can say it's kind of like a knockoff brand of the Minn Kota iPilot, but nonetheless, it works almost, I mean, just as good as the Minkota. I got tired of, you know, using a handle. Uh, it's a lot of bending down, reaching, all that kind of stuff, you know? So I would say this is a very big upgrade. In a future video, y'all will get to see this in action. Um, I do have some clips uh, already when I took this boat out for the first time, which unfortunately I didn't get on uh, camera, but I did take some clips so you get to see how this kind of works in the water, especially in future videos. Durable um, for fresh water and salt water, especially salt water because that's what I do a lot of salt water fishing. It is a 50 pound thrust trolling motor, no spot lock, all right? That's the only downfall to this. And I know people are like, you know, hey, what's the point of having an eye pilot? You know, we ain't got spot lock. Well, when I bought this trolling motor, I knew that. Like I said, it's reaching and trying to steer. I mean, I had to get rid of that. So using a remote control is a bonus. It definitely helps me out. Also, it has the uh, quick release. So you take this out. And pick it up, take it off, put it back on. And then stick this back up in here, just like so. All right, put a little lock right there so it wouldn't come off. So just in case, you know, I'm um, in a bad area or just if I want to put it in the garage because I don't want it out here. This right here kicks it open. So you press this down just like you do with a mint coda. Push it out. Bam. And it locks just like that. And then I have the remote control and, you know, it'll turn and all that kind of stuff. All right, um, nothing fancy in the middle of the boat, pretty much. It's literally the same as my 12-foot boat. Um, I do have the Eva foam. Um, I just choose this color because um, it's the same as my old boat, except the only difference is it has the little blue line, so it gets a little, a little fancy thing going on with it. I will see how long it lasts because the Eva foam uh, sea deck on the 12-foot boat that I normally use is, is holding up, but it's not. I mean, it's it's not gonna be too much longer. So um, this was roughly around the same price. Again, got this off of Amazon. So another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was the grab bar right here. Now, I do stand up in my boat while I'm driving. My 12 foot boat, I was only going about 10, 13 miles an hour max. But with this boat, you're going twice as fast. So you kind of want something to hold on to while you're going that fast. So to weld it to uh, the boat, so it's not going anywhere. I'm glad it came with this feature because um, that is going to be very much useful, especially when I'm in rough waters or just standing up in general uh, on the boat. All right, you guys, last thing we're going to talk about is the motor, the heart of this boat. And this is the true upgrade to this boat. So I originally uh, bought the boat uh, with no motor, all right? So I just bought the 14 foot aluminum boat with the trailer um, and the grab bar. And I was like, okay, yeah, uh, pay little to nothing for it. So I just had to get a motor. Thought about using my motor that I used for the 12 foot, but I was like, nah, this is a bigger boat. I need a bigger motor, all right? So ended up going with the 459 uh, Predator CC. Um, and it is a powerhouse. I will tell you that right now, all right? Now, obviously, this is not brand new, all right? Um, I got this from a buddy of mine. He's also uh, a YouTuber. I'll leave his name down in the description below. But me and him usually go out and do some duck hunting and he ended up upgrading. So I bought his motor and I was like, yes, this is perfect, all right? So I always wanted a surface drive kit. So far when I took it out the first time, it's not bad. Um, 
but I know I'll run into some problems down the line. Um, it's very, you know, it's, it's a cheap motor, all right? So it's not, well, I wouldn't say a cheap motor, but a cheap kit, all right? Um, just for this kit, uh, combined with the motor, you're looking at about, about $1,500 or so. Um, the kit by itself is about 1000 and the motor is about, uh, about 400 or so, $450. It has been modified. Um, we just took the uh, governor, um, we just removed the governor, so uh, other than that, it's nothing, no stage one kit or anything like that. I don't even know if this thing comes with a stage one kit. But with this boat, um, with this motor, with me in it, and maybe a few pounds of gear or whatever like that, I'm looking at 23 to 25 miles an hour. So that is definitely a game changer. All right, you guys, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. I know there's a lot of things I did not cover in this video that I can't think of off the top of my head, but please, 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 please leave a comment uh, down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your concerns. Let me know if I missed anything in this video, anything you wanna know about the boat that I didn't get to today. As um, soon as I finish up with this video, I'm gonna remember something that I should have mentioned in this video. Cutting this video short because it is about to pour down out here. So I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you definitely subscribe. Once again, hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys for watching.